welcome back to my channel and today i am back with the no foundation routine and i really i am in love with this because it sort of like make you minimize uh the makeup used in your face you know because we're saying like this one thing that is the foundation so i went on to highlight my face with my la girl pro concealer in the shade uh toffee and for you to ensure that your face really pops all those places of your face that you know they are obviously lighter than the other parts of your face like you know the inner part of your face is usually lighter than the outer part so you gotta make sure that you use something lighter than your skin tone so yeah And I went on use my beauty blender to blend in the concealer into my face and make sure you blend the concealer into your under eye, you know, to just avoid creasing and all of these things. And take your time when it comes to blending because blending, if you're able to blend everything, honey, trust me, you got it all under control. And also while you're blending, you just also ensure that you also drag the makeup to the, the concealer into your uh, eyelid so that you can prep for, for eyeshadow. Just make sure that you blend it nicely, smoothly and you know. And I went on and used my signature contouring stick to just contour my whole face you know the darker part of my face the outer area and also my nose of course So guys, you know, you know, the key lesson in this channel is you have to blend. So blend. Like there is no tomorrow. You must blend. And if you can blend very well, you realize, OT, this is what is going to bring the warmth into your face and also balance everything in your face. This is what is going to balance the contouring and also the highlights that you've already applied in your face. So, Miguel, blend and blend and blend and blend, you know. And I went on, took my flat foundation brush to just uh, contour my face to blend the contouring in my nose. I'm trying this L contouring thingy and just wanna see how it will go. So guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and also subscribe to my channel, please guys support your girl will support your girl and yeah <laughs> i 
and now you can go on use the beauty blender and just blend everything out just make sure that everything is balanced and all that and to avoid creasing of the concealer and also my contouring i went on to i also highlight my my face with the wow face powder i actually realized that this uh, powder has some great undertones so from today going onwards that's what i'm gonna be using it for i'm gonna be using it to set my 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 face and also just to fix my whole face you know look at it guys it does the reverse contouring it does it for me it's almost a shade that is closer to my skin tone but it has a gray undertone so i'm just gonna be using it for that and now i went on and applied my blush of which i'm using my bella collection palette from clicks and as you can see the pigment is there but you know with blush it has a tendency of just vanishing after some time regardless of the brand that you buy <laughs> oh yes just using it to just bring the warmth into my face and make sure that you blend everything guys the blending is key blending is everything and now i went on use my belly collection and I highlighted my face I just wanted something minimal, something nice, and something that looks natural, and that's what I'm actually getting. Make sure you blend your nose contouring guys you know there is this tendency that people just leave it to be ashy to outstand the whole makeup I, I don't know but just make sure that you blend it guys just make sure that the line is not harsh just blend and now I'm using my Beauty Treat palette to do my eyeshadows. I'm going to be going in with this pink shade, the brown shade, and also this rose gold thingy. And for my crease, I'm using the pink one. Can I say the pigment is really there? I'm very impressed with the pigment of this palette. I actually love Beauty Treat. It's a palette that you can actually start with as a makeup artist, as someone who is uh, starting in this makeup thing. It's a very good brand, very good quality, and all of those things. And really with this palette i didn't see much of a fallout but with the other one that i have it does have a little bit of fallout of which is not really bad and now i'm just gonna be putting my rose gold i've already blended guys using the brown shades so <laughs> yeah i'm using the rose gold for my lid and i'm cutting my crease guys in a very nice way i 
and I loved how this look was all natural and very nice very nudey in a way so this was really outstanding for me so yeah guys that was the look and I hope you all are enjoying this and are learning one or two things out of everything. And just to make sure that there are no harsh lines where my eye, my eye, my eye, whatever, on my eyeshadow, I went on and used a beauty blender to just diffuse that. And I used my hand also to just fix on the inner part of it. And guys this is the look went on and did my eyelashes off camera my eye my eyeliner and also my lips this is the look I thought if I do everything on a camera I'm gonna waste a whole lot of time and all that so guys don't forget to like share comment and also subscribe to my channel until next time I love you guys for watching and until next time don't forget to like share comment and also subscribe as i've already said please support your girl this is the look guys oh my girl oh my, oh my girl is next the girl the girl is ready guys the girl is i don't know the girl is looking nice and guys this is nice i think this would be the new way of doing our makeup because you know there is no foundation nothing but look at me i'm very i'm glowing my girl i'm glowing honey so yeah guys subscribe subscribe and subscribe bye and bye